park. We, we were just talking that uh, that you really know you're in uh, in Chicago when you have to look at like I well, can't really see it four or five different signs to figure out where you're parking because uh, there usually are signs every few feet <laughs> tell you yes or no or maybe or maybe not. See, we're getting ourselves together and getting ourselves ready to go on an adventure. Where is our adventure today, babe? Children's Museum. Oh, by the way, we gotta get the pass out of the car. Okay. We're off on our adventure today to the uh, Navy Pier. Sorry, there's a helicopter right over us, but we are headed off to Navy Pier to the children's, the Chicago Children's Museum. We're gonna be using the kids' passport that we get at the public library here, and uh, what that entails, it gets you admission in for two adults and two children to uh, any one of the different passports that are out there. This one happens to be for the Children's Museum, but they also have one for like the Field Museum, the Science and Industry Museum. Shedd Aquarium, Chicago Museum, Brookfield Zoo. A couple of the, the Morton Artery, Arboretum I think has yeah, one. Yeah, Art Museum. Yeah, so there's there's a lot. We, we tend to use these for in-city adventures. Yes. And uh, so that way we can, you know, obviously save a buck, use our public library and really kind of uh, see what the city has to offer this way. They redid the park here at Navy Pier. Sorry, it's a little shaky. But they redid the park here and there used to be a, a different type of water feature in the center. But this one is really fun. Uh, the kids love running through it. We love hanging out in it. So look at this. Oops, sorry. And here is Navy Pier. So you can see we're just outside of Navy Pier in the Chicago Children's Museum. I'm gonna do a quick turnaround to just behind me. This is the People's Gas Welcome Pavilion area. The actual pavilion itself is over here. And then in the center here, they've redone a water feature that used to be here, it used to just be a big old fountain. Right now the water is turned off for just a moment. See a little kiddo out there ready to play because it is an interactive water area. So if you're just walking through here and you don't see anything, just be aware that it, you might get wet. <laughs> uh, and then circling back around, we have an area that you would pick up the uh, the big bus Chicago. These areas over here are for the pick up and drop off kind of tourist bus that go around. You can also pick up the, the free trolley is a little bit further down here. It's right over here. And then, so you have the, the free trolley, big bus Chicago, and then you finally have the CTA buses, which are the city buses that you can pick up anywhere in the city. Uh, they each have their own separate lines. Those are about 250 a ride. Not too, not too bad. And then we're here back at Navy Pier. All right, let's head in. As you can see, everything is decked out for Pride Month. I really enjoy these lights underneath here. They're really cool. Now they've completely redone the interior of Navy Pier here to be a little bit more industrial and kind of chic. Uh, there used to be just kiosks that had little wagons and things in the center here, but now they have more of a permanent locations for these stores. It's kind of nice. Each of these stores has a little bit of something to offer between jewelry and dresses and there's an area over here just called Chicago Flavors. There's 77 Chicago Flavors. And we have, you know, different handicrafts and uh, caricatures, things like that. And here we have the Children's Museum entrance, which is where we are intending on heading today. We're going to ask if we can if we can film inside the museum, if they say no, that's okay. We still have all of Navy Pier to explore. We're still going to go to the museum. We just won't be able to film there if, if that's the case. But we'll see in a minute. Look how adorable this is. This was from 2012. This was a mural created by kids to do little self-portraits. You know, we are the Chicago Children's Museum. And they've got, just being up here, there's already multiple different places and a dinosaur. It's Baba, a do you see there's a dinosaur? dinosaur? It's not a dinosaur. 
It's not a Spinosaurus. It's a such a little mimus. Interesting. Say Sucomimus. Sucomimus. So this is a Sucomimus. It lived 110 million years ago. One heck of an exhibition already. Chicago Fire Department. Play area. Fun. I like the brick, brick building here. Of course, they have the, the firemen right there. Oh my gracious! They have a building on fire. It's on fire. And they've got an area up there. Wow, this is really interactive. It looks like we have different types of smoke alarms and how to test them and what they sound like. All the different jobs. See or smell smoke. Get low and go. So they've got this room. It's kind of dark and flashing with uh, kind of a, a parachute on the top. So you can you have to get low, get under the smoke, and you go you go in, you go around, and you come out. He's really great. Oh, it's a little dress up area. Oh my gosh. So this this is the Culver family climbing schooner. So you go up the mast, climb all the way up there, and it gets you to the next floor, and then you can continue up to the top, and then across, and then over, and then down up to the same floor, but totally different climbing area around there. How fun! So this area, this area is the Pritzker play, play space. It's for babies, toddlers, preschoolers, and caregivers. They only have certain hours. They take off their shoes and they are able to go and baby do you want B baby <laughs> you're okay right yeah you're fine is this your new favorite thing <laughs> you would be a break dancer huh just break all of it look at what's this now you're gonna do it on purpose huh yep Oh no! Turn down right, turn down right, right. <laughs> Natasha. This is it. You want to play the xylophone over here? This place is awesome. This is worth the price of admission just in here. I like the tree. So you got this little mirror wall. And I love this lock board. My little guy would love this lock board. And they have different. It's different things like this little play area here. Yeah, you want that. And uh, like little carpeted tubes the kids can go in and out of. Stuff they can grab onto. And liquids they can play with. You know? And of course, like color blocks. Ooh, this is a really lit table. They can put the colors down. You see the colors? Ooh, look at all the different colors. But pretty much an area for your littles to kind of just go running wild, which is the point. <laughs> Next room that we're into is the water play area. And here <laughs> they give you little aprons and coats so the kids can, don't get super wet. They can play with boats and different things. They got buckets over here. Just all of the water play, which is nice without getting too damp, I hope, but we'll see. One of my favorite things of this area is this giant water area, which allows you to make locks and there's a couple waterfalls so you can get like a, without realizing it, sorry, you can get like a, without realizing it, a really good idea of how water works and how water flows and things like that. So they can bring their boats up all the way to the source of the water and then either move these areas and like make their own like dams to like slow the water or make the water go faster uh, and it's super cute honestly very educational we are having a snack in the snack area um they really want us to kind of keep everything in the food courts and the snack areas for whenever we have any. So little man's getting his applesauce and his drink. Oops, sorry about that, baby. 
and then we are gonna go and continue playing in a little bit. This place is really nice. We really, really like this place, and I'm gonna be real that I honestly wish we had known about both the children's passport and this place when Little Man was really, really young because there are great infant areas here. Like there's, you can go to play places, and a lot of play places are be like three and up type of thing, where kids can be a little bit more rambunctious and run around and climb things, but when they're under two, it's not a lot of the climbing, it's not a lot of the uh, running around and things like that, especially when they're like six and seven months old. Where it's, it's good to take them to a place and get exposure, but this place has a ton of stuff for infants though. They have specific areas in almost all the areas for infants, non-walkers to like crawl around, have a good time. They're really clean, they're really well staffed. I love this place so far. We're about to walk into the Michaels Museum, a curious collection of tiny treasures. Daddy. Ooh, look at the jewels. From the desk of the curator. It's just kind of a collection of little things. It's old toy cars and trinkets. You could come in here and say, like, what are all the things you can see? Oh, look at the tiny little papel picados. These little, um, these are reed figurines. No, grass figurines, sorry. Oh. Clowno. Here's my finger next to it to give you an idea of scale. These are very tiny and they are very intricate. Wow. Tiny little golden books. Oh my gosh, those are real little golden books. These are tiny books and I need all of them. These are great. Tiny Christian idols. Wow. You want to talk about tiny? Look at these guys. Some of the different idols and little tiny little buildings. We have the abacus in the back. Actually, I don't think that, I don't know if that was an abacus. <laughs> Maybe this book. It's a very cute little room. Oh, and they have a uh, a treasure hunt. A treasure hunt here. So they give you photos of the items and then you try to find how many you can find here in the little glass case here. So it's just a little coffee table. A little door for the kiddos. And then down here, down here is a door for a mouse. That's the back end of a mouse. Yeah. Now I'm headed into the dinosaur exhibition. Let me take a look at these. Tyrannosaurus skull. And this is the Sukomimus. Pretty cool place. Look at this. It's a huge dig site. They can dig for bones. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's nice. This is actually the Sikoro Minus uh, dig site. It's oh, recreation. it's a map of it? Yeah. It show that they, they use plaster to package up the bones and the, and the area around the bones, which then comes back to the lab. And in the lab, they they take away the extra dirt and plaster to then go here look at this look how cool this is wowie thumbs up the succamimus is one of the largest thumb claws of any dinosaur would have been a dangerous weapon we thought the fossilized claw was big and then we added the nail and thumb joint and then wow so that's what the piece they found, but then they added the outer area, which is what the nail would be. Yeah. And look how big that thing is. Oh my God, I can't take it. Let me 
pretty designed huge. For, designed for killing. Yeah. For the older kids, the tinkering lab is probably one of the cooler things in this area. So there's a bunch of ways you can kind of dismantle, tear things apart, put stuff together again over here. But most importantly, they have real tools and real things for these older kids to use. So they have drills and hammers and nails. And these are some of the projects that the kids have done. So sometimes they're building things and sometimes they're hammering things. Right now they're working on a few projects. They have different, they have, they have different uh, raw materials, so fabrics and books and plastic. And so today's challenge is connect two things together. This is a really cool area. They have brads and toothpicks. This is really cool. Oh, but they even have saws and things like that for the older kids to come and make something. My nephew, who is here with us, he made a birdhouse. And how cool is that? So the Tinker Lab's kind of a really fun place. We're now headed into Kids Town, which is, well, within the name. The great thing is that everything has a little gate to walk through. And most areas have like a caregiver center. It's a little kind of a quiet space for the kids to go into or uh, if you need a nurse or anything like that. Oh, car wash. Oh, Ford. This place is cool. Changing out tires. Looks like you can do some some driving. Some crawling around. <laughs> That's my guy. Look at the mirrors. Do you see mirrors you like, Bub? Play place up here. Wow. And I think they have hard, hard hats because it says hard hat zone. Oh, they do. They're just underneath all there with the other kids. And you get a view outside in Navy Pier. That's fun. See Matt taking photos of our little guy. Loving on this area. He loves any padded areas because then he just like flings himself around. This is fun though. It's a cute little town. They have a marketplace over here. They got a marketplace with a scale. And then they have a house area with a kitchen. This is more like a commercial kitchen because it also has a, a little fireplace for pizza. Now there's a little less people in uh, Treehouse Trails. So I'll give a quick little like walkthrough. So they have this little water area for the kiddos to fish. They got little fishies inside. And they have, uh, of course, um, aprons for that. They have this wonderful little log cabin, which inside the log cabin, they have a little whole house set. So they have like wonderful little house set on the inside of it. In the back here, they've got a little fishing set where the kids can do a little bit of fishing in the, in the fake water. They have a climbing area so with a nice a nice padded floor. And then finally they have a little a little walk around with a slide. There is indeed a slide here. See? And just like all of the areas, we're gonna head back out. Uh, just like all of the areas, they also have a non-walker area for the infants. So this is the non-walker here. Um, my little man was playing in the one in the other area. Whoops! And then some of the areas are set up for walkers and non-walkers, which is great. And every area has a gate, so just in case you have an escapee like I do, uh, you don't have to worry about it too much. That was Treehouse Trails. For the builder in your area, there's this area called the Skyline, which you build and build and build. So using you know, uh, looks like nuts and screws. You're able, nuts, bolts, and screws, you do a skyscraper. You try to build as tall as you can. It's great for the older kids who just want to kind of tinker around and build, which is great. Ah, and then here's the uh, the top side of the, the ship, the mast. 
So that was the end of our very free adventure here at Navy Pier. Yes, it was. Big thanks to Chicago Public Libraries for having these kids' passports so families like us can go to places for free. And avoid the $15 cover charge. Or more, depending <laughs> yeah. on where we're going. True. Uh, we were going to show you guys the rest of Navy Pier, but at this time, it's getting close to our little man's nap. And, and it is crowded. On top of that, the pavilion upstairs where they have the botanic garden is closed for an event, so no one really can walk up on the second floor at all. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to see up there. It's also a little rainy. Otherwise, we'd show you the outsides, but it is starting to get a little rainy, and uh, we're just going to head back home. But next time, we'll have to come out here for another another in-city adventure. Yeah.